All right, hello everybody. Okay, so we're going to look at level eight, but before we get there, um, I went ahead and turned off my screen and I did the assessment just to make sure that everything worked. So this is what we wanted to see happen. This, and it does work. So uh, we have this, this, and this. Um, we have all the planets, we have the new horizons, like everything is the way that it should be. Um, the reason why I'm not making it look smaller is so that you guys can't see the code, but it, this is 100% possible. Um, I actually had a bet with two of my students that said it wasn't, and I was like, hold that thought. So went in and I did it, it works, it's fine. Um, I will say that for instructions, um, the CSS instructions at the top don't just refer to the top portion, they actually refer to the entire page. So there's a tip, if that helps. Uh, but when you're finished with this, you're going to press the orange finish button, and then let's go take a look at number eight. All right, uh, so it says match the image reflection. Uh, take a minute to reflect on the last level where you were tasked with applying Flexbox child properties to match the image and answer the following questions. How And so this is the thing that a lot of my students uh, don't seem to realize is that there's more than one question. So once again, we're going to copy paste all of these questions down here. Um, and we're going to take them one at a time. So how do you think you did according to the rubric below and why? Um, I believe I should score a blank because blank, right? So not just like what you should score, but why you should score that. Um, how did you know how to complete this assessment? Um, everyone's answer is going to be different. Uh, I would say that I knew how to complete this assessment. Uh, because I spent time going through the different levels and making sure to use my resources. Um, what was easy about the task? Uh, honestly, the easiest part was uh, ordering the planets, especially once I realized that they were all in uh, order by distance from the sun. So Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth, no. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Um, and so that, that made it super easy. Uh, the most challenging part was the comments in the CSS file that uh, made me think I needed to use the flex grow on the top part of the page, but in reality, I didn't. Uh, what did I ever do to overcome overcome this? I I spent my time really investigating the page and finally understood that I didn't need to use the flex grow on the top part of the page. And then what questions do I still have? Um, none of this time for me, but you might have questions. And so this is a really good time to fill those questions in so that your teachers can see it, um, whether you're my student or someone else's. But there we go. So the reflection's done, level eight's done. Um, we're gonna press the orange submit button and I'll see you for the challenge levels. Here we go.